from the Joy Fidel. Welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm continuing to use the Hearts Come Home bundle um, for a card. Today we are making another gingerbread inspired card and I'm going to be making a bridge card like I made during my Night in Bethlehem series. So I'm not going to walk you through every single step because I already have a video doing that but I am going to go over the measurement. So you need a card base that measures four and a quarter by eight. You need four pieces of designer series paper that measure one by four, and you need one that measures two and three eighths by, no, two and five eighths by four. So, and then you need one for the back that measures two and three quarters by three. And then up front, you need one that's at least five and a half inches long. So this is cut to five and a half inches. And I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'm going to start by scoring my cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my trimmer for this. So what you need to do is you need to score it at one and one quarter and two and a half on each side. So we'll start with one and one quarter. And then we'll move down to two and a half. Flip it, one and one quarter, two and a half, then we are going to mountain and valley fold. So I'm going to mountain and then come back this way, I'm going to do it the same way on this side. And then come back this way. So our largest piece of designer series paper goes right here. I am using the Mary, no I'm not. I am using the Quilted Christmas. Oh my word, my memory has been horrible today. The last couple of days, yesterday I couldn't remember my address or my phone number. Oh my dude. So I'm using liquid glue to adhere this, and there's going to be about a quarter inch on either side. Maybe not quite that much. So I'm not going to put a sentiment on this card, but once again, you could put a piece of white paper on the back, and put a sentiment, write it, or you could just write on the back of this. So next we need to adhere our other paper here. I picked these two patterns because this one reminds me of like frosting on a gingerbread house. And this gingham reminds me of a tablecloth. And I almost went straight red, but I decided to do a little bit more red and green. I hardly ever, ever <laughs> do red and green cards. So two in one week, you're pretty lucky. I'm just kidding. So I've cut my gingerbread houses out of soft suede. I prefer that over crumb cake. It just looks a little better to me. It looks more like gingerbread um, rather than just craft paper. But you can do it however you want to. It's completely up to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hopefully I don't have a coughing fit in this video. I've already had one. We've had a little bit of rain. Yesterday, we got about an inch. A lot of other places in DFW didn't get any, but we got about an inch. And the barometric pressure changing has made my allergies, sinuses, asthma, whatever this is, go a little wonky today. So. I was sitting here waiting to film because I thought, oh, Rob will be in, you know, any minute now. And then I realized that the clock was turning five, not six. I'm like, oh my word. <laughs> I was like, plenty of time to film before he gets home. I'm telling you, brain. I'm telling you, my brain is messed up today. Okay. So. need to adhere this to the back. 
So I have backed the windows with Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper. And then I have used my white gel pen to add some uh, frosting <laughs> to the snowman and the trees. This really reminds me of like iced oatmeal cookies, which I'm not hating because those are probably my absolute most favorite cookies ever. And the cheapy ones like from Dollar Gentral where you dip them in milk and then your milk is all cinnamony. <clears throat> so I have a new piece of jewelry today and it's making a little bit of noise, but I picked up a medical alert bracelet um, off Etsy. It's rose gold, I really like it. So it's making some noise and I apologize in advance for that. So we need adhere this. Someone asked me how does this fit into a standard size envelope and this is how right here. When you fold it one way or the other it is exactly five and a half I mean four and a quarter by five and a half. So because this piece of paper right here is five and a half inches long. Okay so how am I going to do this? And what I've done is I have added another piece to the back. Um, this isn't punched out, but that way it's not an unfinished back. I feel like I want to add something to, to this. It's just not wow, and it's not wowing me. And I'm I'm out of um oh Misty, come on now embossing paste. So what can I do? I maybe just glitter and glue? Maybe. I'm back. Now the front one is just about dry, so I think I'm going to go ahead and adhere these two together. And I think I'm going to use tear and tape for this.
Alright guys, this is it for today's card. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. All the supplies will be linked down below along with the coordinating blog post that will take you to the recipe. Um, if it's not posted today, it will be posted by tomorrow, so make sure you just check back. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget, tomorrow is the absolute last day to sign up for Jolly Mail. If you're interested in either the Snowflake Sentiment or the Night in Bethlehem set, make sure you get signed up or just you can email me if you don't know where to go, um, etc. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.